Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scrub Me Quick Designs, and I'm going to show you today there is a new Design Space plugin update that is in preparation of the four new Cricut Maker tools coming out in July. I'll show you what the changes are, so you'll know what's going on. Now everybody will be promote will be prompted to let the plugin update run, whether you have a Cricut Maker or a Cricut Explore machine. Uh, next time you log into your design space, it's just going to automatically come up and let you um, be prompted to let the plugin go. It's only going to take a few seconds, so don't worry about that. And now let's take a look at what's going to be different. Okay, so I have a shape here, just a basic shape that I put on my mat. And in the right hand corner up here, next to the green make or make it button, there is now a new drop down. Now, when you click on that drop down, it gives you two options, Cricut Maker or the Cricut Explorer family. If you're running a Cricut Explorer machine, either the Cricut Explorer 1 through the Cricut Explorer Air 2, you would select the Cricut Explorer family of machines because that's what you're working with, okay? Now, what does that mean? When you come over here to line type, you're going to have your three selections, right? So cut, draw, and score, like what we traditionally have had. But if you change this to the Cricut Maker, now what you're going to get, I've selected that same shape, now what you're going to get is you're not going to just see cut, draw, and score. You're going to see options for the four new tools that are coming out. The engraving tool, the debossing tool, the wavy tool, and the perforation blades. Okay, So if these are going to be a separate purchase. Um, they're coming out in July on HSN on July the 16th and then later at Cricut.com and I'll, uh, there, I have a separate video on that if you guys want to see the tools go look at that video. Alright, but there's a couple of other things going on here. So let's say I'm going to pick engrave. Okay, for this particular shape. I'm going to come over here and hit my makeup button because I want to engrave a circle onto something. And um, it's going to go to the mat just like it normally does. And of course, it lets you know that it's the engraving tool. And I'm going to say continue. It'll go in and, you know, find my Cricut machine I'm using, which will be the maker for this instance. It'll take just a second for it to grab that. Now what we're going to be looking at is that part of this update is depending upon the machine that you're using and which tool, which line type you've selected, Cricut is going to show you the compatible Cricut materials and mat other materials that you can use with that particular line type. So I'm going to go into Browse, and now you're going to notice underneath All Materials, there's a new category that says Compatible. Okay, now on Compatible, that means that all of these materials have been tested for the engraving tool and they've all been tested to work. Cricut's already got them set up so it's going to be the right pressure and so forth and these will be the only items that you would be able to pick to use with the engraving tool right now. Okay and of course you can go in and uh, you know select one of these and then that's the material that you would engrave on. So that's going to happen for any of the line types so those are the changes that are in Design Space right now for the July 2019 plugin update. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, this is all in preparation, again, for the Cricut Maker tools that are launching on HSN on July the 16th and then later at Cricut.com. Uh, I have a separate video you can watch about that. I'll link that up in the description of where you see this video. Hope you guys uh, have a lot of fun today and happy crafting.